Hey guys, Berlo Gossam here, and what looks like a complete mess right now is soon going to be my fourth idea that I made a tutorial for, and it's called the rolling tape idea. And to start off with the materials, you need one big block, one big board, three Hot Wheels tracks, you need two dominoes for supports, and a bunch of dominoes just to line up later in the trick. You need string that I've pre-connected to a domino here. You need a playing card. You need a roll of tape, which is going to be the base of our trick. You need a bunch of Jenga blocks for supports, and you need four tubes that we'll place in our trick. And as always, you need tape. And one thing that you need that a lot of people don't have, but you can make out of connects pretty easily, is a direction changer. So to start off, what you do is you take the board right here, and you place it on top of the block. Next you take your four tubes, and you put them on this board, but first you have to tape them down, and you want to tape them down so that a roll of tape can roll perfectly in between them. Place a domino, and this is where our trick will get its multi-use element. You're going to tape the dominoes down as well. You're going to place the last two tubes right next to the domino. And all of these things should be two parallel lines, and the length between these parallel lines is one width of the roll of tape. So now a roll of tape should be able to easily roll between them like that. So now comes the multi-use element part. You're going to take the card and put it between the tubes like this. So when the roll of tape comes along, it's going to get stopped. And to that card, and to that card, you're going to attach a string which is already attached to a domino. This string will later be pulled out as seen right here. And now we need to connect our trick together. So we have the direction changer and what this direction changer does is it's going to provide something to happen while the tape will just be stuck right here on the card. While this is happening, the tape will actually push the direction changer and the direction changer will let something else happen to release this card. So we're going to attach the direction changer. In order to do it absolutely perfectly, you would have to use duct tape or hot glue. So now, this tape should, all, should roll almost effortlessly and hit the direction changer. But, you can't exactly change direction without actually hitting something. So, what that something will be is a marble. But the marble has to do something, so we put on supports for this track for it to roll on. What the direction changer will do is it will knock the block out so that the marble can continue like this. And now we've connected a direction changer. And now we're going to make the trick even more interesting. And how do we do that? By attaching a ping pong ball and connecting the two parts together. And how do we do that? Of course, we have to use string. And we're going to connect Hot Wheels tracks, too. So the, so the ping pong ball will end up rolling through the tape here and onto the other side. So what we notice here is that if the card stopped the roll of tape like this, which it should, if the card was right after the dominoes, then the ball wouldn't be able to roll through the roll of tape because the domino is too high and because the lowest point of the tape is too far away from the lowest point of the track, which should be right here. So how to fix that is to move the tracks a little farther down, like this, 
And to the other side of the tape, we're going to add another track right here. And since the board's already tilted, we don't need to add supports to the track. But what we do need to add is a stopping block, which I'll make out of just two dominoes in case the ping pong ball travels too fast. And it won't. And to the last part here, we're going to add dominoes to connect the full thing together. And these will go around. And there will be quite a few of them. But one thing to be mindful of is how you place the string. It needs to be at a minimal height so that the ball can roll over it with relative ease. Now that I've connected the whole thing with dominoes, it should work perfectly. So the tape will push the direction changer, which will knock out this Jenga block. The marble will come here, hit the domino out, the ping pong ball will roll through the tape, which will be right here, which will let the tape continue on its journey. So here it goes. And that was how to do the rolling tape trick. So thanks to all of you for watching this video, especially to all of you who watched my other tutorials. This one was a little bit harder to make because of all the extra materials and it actually failed a couple of times. But I hope to see you soon with my other tutorials. And if you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. Machine 21 will not be out in the middle of November, unfortunately, because I still have to connect my fourth section and I'm having a little bit of trouble with that. But I'm optimistic and I'm hoping that it will be out before December, if not before Thanksgiving. It will be worth the wait. I promise to you. It will be... Everything will work perfectly and it will be a great video. And you guys will be glad you've waited maybe even a whole year for this last full-length machine. Not the last one, but this next full-length machine. So if you've liked this, if you want to see more tutorials, then like, comment, and subscribe.